Number two says find the net torque on the wheel in the figure below about the axle through O perpendicular to the page, taking a seven centimeter and twenty-one centimeter, or a, a equals seven centimeters and B equals twenty-one centimeters. Indicate the direction with the sign of your answer. Assume that the positive direction is counterclockwise. So what we have here is we have a a 90 degree angle and another 90 degree angle. This is tangential. In other words, it's tangential to the to the wheel. And what we have over here is kind of confusing. Where this we have this third this horizontal line and it, we have 30 degrees. And so we're going to explain that as well. But first we're going to say this um, the net force. So the the net torque the net torque is going to be equal to the the torque in the positive direction so we'll call it the the we'll say the sum the sum of the positive torques minus the sum of the of the negative torques so we have um th this is going in the clockwise direction so this is a negative torque so we're going to say that the the equation for torque is that uh, it is the force um it is the force times the radius, and so if an angle, if a force is applied at an angle, we have to do the force times sine theta times radius. But in these cases, they're not; it's perpendicular, so it's not at an angle. So um, we can say that uh, force one was was ten newtons. So we we can say that that torque one is is ten newtons times uh, times 21 centimeters, which is 0 0.21 meters. Our answers have to be in newton meters, so uh, we'll just go ahead and convert that to meters now. And this equals 2.1 newton meters. Now remember that the the force is applied in the negative direction, so we'll go ahead and put a negative sign on that. And so then torque two is going to be equal to nine newtons times zero point two one meters and so where am I getting the two one so the the distance of B it says in my in my question is that it equals uh, two it equals twenty one centimeters and the distance of A it says is seven centimeters so we'll get to A in a second so it's like we have um, one wheel embedded inside of another one. So we're looking at the outside portion of the wheel right now. So this equals negative uh, one point eight nine. So these are the these are the forces in our negative direction. We can sum those up so that the, the sum of the torques in the negative direction equals negative uh, negative three point nine nine. And so when I say minus up here, I'm saying we're we're subtracting the the absolute value of the torque. So you could you could theoretically go ahead and make this a plus sign if we so long as we keep our sign on there. So whenever I I put the the minus sign there, this is indicating that we we are we're not going to figure in a minus sign down here. So just uh, keep that in mind. So right now we're saying it's negative 3.99 is the sum of our torques in the negative direction. And then we have this force, this torque in the positive direction. And this threw me off at first. Um, the, what you have to realize is that it's, it's tangential. So you can see here, this is tangential. And so it is at a 90 degree angle to to the this portion of the wheel and so we don't have to multiply it by a sine 30 like as if there were a a stick coming out here uh, let me just go ahead and draw on another page so if if this were a wheel that had some kind of of lever on the outside and you were putting a force like this down on that lever and that was that was at 30 degrees then that would change the calculation because it's not tangential to anything it's intersecting a a um, a lever arm or a moment arm on this on this wheel. However, this one is not is not doing that. It is tangential to this wheel, and so we don't have to multiply it by the sine of 30 degrees. We just say that the the torque in the positive direction equals 12 newtons times 0 0.07 meters. So the sum 
of the torques in the positive direction equal 0 .0, 0 0.84 newton meters. Now we just have to simply add, uh, add them together. So we have we have 0 0.84 plus the negative 3.99, and that is equal to negative 3.15 newton times meters.